Shabba, I'm finding it so helpful and indeed so challenging just uh, hearing your story of uh, what God has done in your life, but, but also something of the courage uh, that, has, uh, that, that you've needed. And uh, just tell us something about where that courage comes from for you and indeed for others. Yeah. Uh, there are a couple of things really uh, inspired me and give, gave me strength to go forward. Uh, one of them was the testimony of others. When I was hearing uh, how God is able to do such a miracles in people's life, he, so he's above uh, everything else. It doesn't matter how difficult it is. Personally, uh, I always said to myself, if he could set me free from these invisible prisons, uh, prisons I was in, uh, the addictions and uh, all the other dark places, I was like a prison was holding me. He could release me from them. The visible prisons is nothing for him. And also like, uh, for example, one of my friends, uh, he was addicted to drugs for 30 years. The last drug he was taking was uh, crystal meat and uh, he couldn't get rid of it. He, he had to use like a, a couple of strong uh, sleeping pills to manage to sleep. And uh, his, his, his life was falling apart, his family, his, his wife was leaving him at that point. He had two children and uh, he, someone shared the gospel with him and the same prayer I did. He, he, he did that prayer and literally after the prayer, he gave this testimony that he never had this desire for drugs and even a smoking cigarette. And I remember he, we were arrested together uh, for the first time. And the second time when we, the numbers of people were increasing and I was worried for the uh, prison was waiting for me. And I was young and really uh, terrified of a prison. And I, I, had, I had a conversation with him and I said, look, if we continue it, <laughs> prison is waiting for us. You sure you want to do that? How about your two children? And he, he just simply gave his testimony. He said, Moshtaba, I was already dead. I was uh, dead in drugs and my family was falling apart. And uh, the prison is not, uh, is not, compared to my previous life, prison is nothing. And uh, which one is more dangerous, being in that darkness, like the same testimony I had. And I said, at least I know me and my family will be safe. And I know the one who changed me like this, transformed me like this, can protect my family as well. So it's that the, the courage would come from the testimony we had and also during the all the troubles i went through it was a, a journey uh, of uh, the i mean that journey of persecution for me was the journey with jesus himself who was persecuted in many situations really i uh, could I identify with jesus suffering and jesus vulnerability uh, really uh, helped me that I express my vulnerability to him, my weakness to him and receive courage and know the one who like suffered like that, like Jesus, now he's resurrected and he's above all the authorities and the power and everything. And I will be with him. And uh, I remember when, you know, when they want to, uh, when you want to go to prison, there was lots, lots of security gates. Uh, that you have you should go through and at one point they take all of your clothes to check if you're carrying drugs or anything dangerous with you and um, I was really uh, kind of uh, feeling really humiliated by that taking all of my clothes and I it was for the first time in my life the officers standing there and like I should take off all my clothes and uh, and uh, I was really kind of feeling ashamed by that. I remember that, that moment I closed my eyes and the only picture came to my mind uh, was Jesus himself naked on the cross. Mm -hmm. And it was like Jesus is talking to me, don't be ashamed of that. I am your master, I am your Lord. 
I went through this, I became naked on the cross and see wh where I am now. Uh, uh, just, it's a, it's a special moment, you know, mm -hmm. with you. And it's, it's like an honor to have a savior like that. Mm -hmm. This became so vulnerable, became so uh, weak for us. And then we can identify with his weaknesses and vulnerability. And it just gives you a courage and a strength that the being like that, this humiliation is nothing because it's not my place. I'm not uh, defined by what people uh, do to me or what I think about myself. I define by his suffering and his glory uh, that he's sitting uh, now on the throne above all authorities. The testimonies of others, being with other Christians and also the uh, identifying with Jesus himself was the source of my courage. Mm. Shaba, I I'm just finding as I'm sitting here uh, talking to you and, and listening uh, my own love for Jesus and faith in Jesus Christ being at one level challenged, but in another way being actually rekindled and uh, energized and, and, and strengthened. Uh, th there are things that you and others can say to us uh, here in the church in the West that we need to hear. Please, please feel free to say those things to us because we need to hear them. Just share with us some of the things that you'd love to see the whole church wherever, all over the world, just recapture and regain and rediscover about who Jesus is, about who God is. Yeah. I think uh, <clears throat> uh, what uh, our brothers and sisters in different parts of the world going through uh, on their persecution and suffer for their faith, there is a purpose in it. There is a uh, m message in it. It's not only about them, they far away uh, and uh, we need to pray for them. It's about all of us as a one body. Uh, it's, it's just one body that we sharing one faith and uh, we sharing one truth that all of us need to uh, stick to it and listen to it and practice it every day. And uh, uh, I think what they going through just uh, tell us uh, and remind us again, look, our hope is not uh, summarized in this world. Our life is not only on this earth. It's, it's easy for us to become distracted and focus on temporary things around us. Uh, uh, not the, um, they, they focus on what is exactly true, the real things, mm -hmm. the, the things that is important, they, they're going to last. Uh, it, it was true for myself. Constantly during my persecution, I had to, especially in worship, I had to focus my life in future, not my life here. When I was missing my family, I was telling myself, and I believed it 100%, because I experienced God's faithfulness, that you will be your family forever. Don't worry about it. God is faithful. Just focus now what you should do, do here. So I think uh, uh, it's easy. the world wants us to focus on uh, on genuine and on real things, you know. It wants to become busy with the things that is not the real need we have. The real need we have is just to uh, stick to what God wants for us and He says in His Bible. And uh, it's very simple. Sometimes with the, all the complex in the world, we see the complex ideas they gave us, give us, uh, we see just Prayer can help, really, but it helps. That's what we need. Uh, who knows what happened after death? The testimony of people in persecution is one of the uh, uh, kind of uh, reasons that there is an eternal life. 
because uh, it's not easy, it's not normal. Someone go through uh, something that he, their life's in danger, but it's still they, they say, I, I believe uh, uh, that there is a, another life. Uh, my real hope, my main hope is there. And uh, unless you are uh, a person who lost, uh, you lost your mind. But I don't think that hundreds and millions of uh, Christians now under persecution, all of them, <laughs> they've lost their mind. <laughs> uh, they, uh, but yes, I think uh, let's not lose our hope and understand that our main need is God himself. And we have to worship him together and share his gospel and scatter uh, the, the message of gospel to others. We, we sometimes pray at the end of a church service, may the God of hope fill us with all joy mm. and peace in believing yeah. so that by the Holy Spirit we may abound in hope. Mm. Uh, and uh, I think those words just take on a, a fresh, a sort of tangible, almost up close reality, just as I, as I listen to you. Shubhastava, thank you. Uh, I'd love you to pray for us and to pray for, for the church here in Ireland. And then, and then I'd love just to pray a prayer of blessing uh, on you and your family. But thank you. Father of uh, all mercy and uh, grace, uh, thank you so much, uh, God, that uh, by your grace, you uh, made us a witness of your uh, eternal life and a witness of your love and faithfulness to, towards us uh, in Jesus Christ. Uh, when he died on the cross, when he suffered for us, when he resurrected from uh, death again, and how uh, through uh, that uh, uh, love of Christ on, on the cross, you change our life and gave us a new life a new hope and uh, and uh, a peace uh, uh, lord uh, i pray in jesus name that with the testimony of uh, all the brothers and sisters who are going through this but still go, go through persecution but still standing on this testimony that jesus is only need we have an eternal life that we receive in Jesus Christ is the only uh, thing we want uh, with the testimony of them. I pray that Lord make us again uh, 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 strong and encouraged that we continue uh, by the uh, testimony of them and by the power of Holy Spirit. We, we stand and worship you and share the gospel with others to advance your kingdom for your glory, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Here in Northern Ireland, uh, uh, Lord, strengthen your church. Uh, and uh, yeah, we see amazing uh, uh, movement of you and movement of your kingdom in Northern Ireland again. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And Lord, would you strengthen your church in Iran and yes. uh, pour out your Holy Spirit upon your people uh, in, in every nation across yes. our world, that our love for Jesus would grow deeper and become stronger. And Lord, for Mishtaba, I, I pray that you would bless and protect him and his family, and that the God of hope who would fill him with all joy and peace in believing, so that by the Holy Spirit, he and we would abound in hope. And so may the blessing of God Almighty, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you today and always. Amen.